Hey, what's up, family? It's your boy, Fozzy the Kid. Uh, I put this routine together to help develop and engage the abdominal muscle, the abs, and also work on explosive form and um, speed as, as well and agility. Uh, this routine here is really good because you're pulling the resistance and you're crunching your abs on the top and it's hitting your whole uh, core, which are engaged. And you want to do 20 on one side and then 20 on the other and we're doing four sets of this by the way so um if you don't have a stool or a bench like that or a box like that you can do it at home um for the girls you can put on some ankle weights and do it like on the edge of the couch and just get into that slant form like you're in your running form and you want to slowly control it if you're using ankle weights and stuff and just crunch and pause on it. And right after that, we're going to go to the reverse, right? So this is all core as well. Your hip flexor will be engaged as well. And it's it's really hard. It's like you sitting on the, uh, on, on the ground um, and bringing your... your uh, knees to your to your chest pretty much and you just isolate in your core but now we put it with, with another dynamic form where i'm sitting on an elevator box and i'm pulling with the band and again if you're at home um you can also use your ankle your ankle weights i seen people take a dumbbell they hold a dumbbell with their leg and they just consistently you know do it like that. We're doing two legs, but this one we're just doing one isolation uh, leg because we have the band and I have the equipment like the strap to put around my my ankles as well to make it more, you know, uh, fancy. But if you don't have that, you can use uh, your ankle weights at home. And when you're at home, just get you your yoga mat, sit on your yoga mat and just do that same form with the ankle weights on and do 20 reps and four sets. And right after that, we come here to the crunches pretty much the app. So what we're doing is you grab a kettlebell or a dumbbell um, or anything that's that's a weight or a ball. And you want to extend fully and crunch at the top, bending your, folding your knee and making your knee and the uh, arm touch pretty much. And you want to be able to do um, 20 of that as well. And we're doing four sets of it. And what I realized, the more you control and slow it down, it's, it's more effective. Just don't rep through it so fast. And right after that, what I did here was side to side crunch, leg um, folded and just into that uh, V position or whatever. Um, you can also do this with a kettlebell or a dumbbell that you can use and go side to side. And then right after the side to side, we did 20. We're going to do the scissor in the air which you can make even difficult if you have a ankle weight on your leg and doing the scissor, which is going to engage more. But if you like this content, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and stay tuned. And for my guys that are with me, stay tuned.